Hi, I'm Nico and welcome to another episode of Where is Nico? I decided to ditch the city and head for some countryside. So I'm going to take you to the mountains to see what skiing in China is really like. I've come to China's former ancient capital, Xi'an, to take a wander down its narrow streets and eat some delicious food. And of course, is it really kind of Hi, I'm Nico. If you've been keeping up to date with my latest videos, then you'll know that I just released one about the recent outbreak here in Beijing. Well, the video before that was actually about the first time we were able to travel here in China. So, the travel dream is over already. As the restrictions had only just started to ease here in Beijing, now they're back to how they were a few months ago. And for the moment at least, we're not able to leave the city very easily. It's Dragon Boat Festival here in China, and most people have an extra few days off, so they spend it traveling around the country. Whilst this is still possible for people in other cities to do, here in Beijing, it's just not really an option. We had tickets to Sanya booked for the holidays and I was super excited because I've never been there before. But unfortunately, our trip got cancelled, so we're going to spend it here in the city instead. I like to try and focus on the positives in any situation, so I'm happy that we were able to get a refund and of course that we're safe and healthy. We decided if we can't go on holiday, we'd spend the money on doing up our house a little bit and making it nice. If we are going to have to go in back into lockdown, fingers crossed we're not, it may as well be a nice place to spend our time. We actually are super lucky and we have a really nice outdoor area, which so far we've done absolutely nothing with. So we decided if we can't go to the beach, we may as well have our own private beer garden. So, how can we travel if we can't actually travel then? Well, there are lots of things that we can do to pretend that we can travel in 2020. I'm going to spend some of my time researching travel blogs, looking at Lonely Planet guides, and of course, watching YouTube videos to do some research for the trips that I'm going to take when this is all over. Figuring out routes and how long I'll spend in places so that when this does all die down, I'm ready to take that trip. Like I just mentioned, YouTube is a great way to pretend to travel. You can pick a different YouTuber every day and follow in their footsteps on their journey around the world, watching their content in anticipation for when we are able to travel to that destination. There are loads of different types of YouTubers. There's some which go from country to country and there's some which are based in one country so you can really immerse yourself in that country. I've been watching a lot of Simon Wilson recently. He did a journey where he went to the seven different wonders in seven days. So that was really cool because he went to lots of different countries. I also really enjoy watching currently Hannah, who is based in Japan, because you can really immerse yourself in the Japanese culture. Speaking of immersing yourself in something, did you know that you can do virtual tours? How cool is that? You can travel without leaving your house. You can go to different countries, museums, art galleries, wonders of the world, all from the comfort of your living room. You get to experience something new and learn something at the same time. Where should we go? You can go to the Louvre. We could do a space tour with NASA. Or G Adventures, which is a travel company that usually do tours around the world, have loads of different virtual tours on their YouTube channel. So you get to have an experience with a guide without leaving your home. 
If you're more of a sit back and relax kind of person, then consider watching a travel movie to take you away to a far off land. Some films that give me wanderlust are Eat, Pray, Love, The Beach, Into the Wild, The Motorcycle Diaries, and The Darjeeling Limited. Leave me a comment below telling me what your favorite movie is that inspires you to travel. There are people all over the world with amazing stories, tips, and experiences to share. Airbnb have created online experiences so that you can enjoy them in your own home. There's so many things you can do. You can take an Indian cooking course, immerse yourself in the street art of Buenos Aires, or even learn about identifying leopards. There really is something for everyone. One thing Corona will never be able to take away from me, and that is the ability to look back on all my photos and videos and remember the good and bad things that have happened to me whilst traveling. We're lucky that we've documented quite a lot of our travels so that I can remember all the adventures that we've had and the places that we've visited, the people that we've met, the food that we've eaten, and the landscapes that we've seen. Now it's time for a sick travel montage. For now, I have to keep focused that 2020 is just a blip in our lives and soon the world will get better and travel will become the norm again. In the meantime, I'm going to go to some places in Beijing that are open and pray that soon I'll be able to put my research into place and be able to wander the world again. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment and let me know where you're dreaming of traveling to. If you don't already subscribe to my channel, then hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to stay up to date with all of my related content. I'll see you next time.